Baik, terima kasih banyak. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi dan salam sejahtera. Uh, Seperti mana sudah sedia maklum, uh, pagi tadi kita ada beberapa kita telah adakan beberapa perbincangan uh, khususnya dengan um, perwakilan uh, Barisan Nasional yang telah menetapkan tujuh orang untuk berunding dengan kita dan um, isu dasar. Uh, dan kita tumpukan dan saya, saya berpuas hati kerana perbincangan itu lebih tertumpu kepada keperluan untuk uh, mewujudkan satu kerajaan yang stabil, yang inklusif, uh, menjaga kepentingan semua rakyat dan wilayah di negara ini. Kemudian kita juga meletakkan beberapa keutamaan dalam dasar pemerintahan, terutama dalam bidang membangun, memacu pertumbuhan ekonomi yang lebih meyakinkan. Dan uh, saya sangat berpuas hati dengan perkembangan ini dan komitmen ditunjukkan walaupun dari segi uh, muktamadnya uh, Barisan Nasional memohon sedikit waktu kerana mereka nak meneruskan sedikit lagi proses perundingan dengan semua pihak yang telah memohon berunding dengan mereka. Okay. Uh, I, <coughs> okay. I'm very pleased uh, the outcome of the meeting we had the several representatives from uh, Barca Nacional to um, <coughs> discuss uh, the issue of uh, a coalition government uh, under my leadership. But um, we dis did uh, prioritize the key issues uh, for this uh, new government. Firstly, stability. We require political stability to carry the country forward. But I'm uh, extremely uh, pleased because the, the focus is on the economy. Uh, an inclusive government will have to focus on governance and the economy, um, which has been uh, virtually stagnant in the last few years. Um, well, this has not been uh, Conclusive because Barca National says uh, whether well, I am personally very satisfied, but I think uh, they want to go through the process of uh, other meetings uh, before they come up with a final decision. Uh, so as far as I'm concerned, uh, what I said earlier about the commitment, I am still uh, very optimistic that um, we'll be able to form a government um, more more democratic for okay um, <coughs> sekarang uh, merujuk kepada kenyataan yang dibuat sebelum ini oleh uh, bersatu untuk perikatan nasional terus satu dua saya masih tidak faham kerana orang-orang yang telah Uh, terlibat itu juga telah menghubungi kita kerana itu dibuat sebelum ada perbincangan dan perundingan dan ketetapan yang dibuat oleh masing-masing parti. Saudara juga telah meneliti kenyataan Barisan Nasional bahawa mereka uh, akan membuat keputusan secara satu pasukan dan blok dan menemukan semua tanda tangan yang dibuat oleh uh, sebelumnya itu terbatal. Uh, jadi dengan itu dia meletakkan uh, kemungkinan kita menubuhkan kerajaan dengan majoriti yang lebih besar daripada yang kita jangka. Bagaimana dengan kenyataan Wadi Semburung yang telah menyatakan menolak PH dan DAP? Ya, dia menolak PH dan DAP mungkin kan dengan DAP government atau PH government. This is uh, essentially uh, coalition or unity government. Well, the question is in regard to the former defence minister, the MP for Sumbero, who um, is alleged to be have said that there's no, he will not support any government uh, with the PH or DAP. And my response to that is that there's no DAP government here or a PH government. It's a coalition government, a unity government. So I believe he has now revised his views. We need to be seen.
Did Zahid and maybe Ajinov faces dozens of corruption charges? Did he put in any request in any of these conversations that there would be any interference in the justice system? And if so, what was the response? There was no uh, <coughs> reference at all to the issue of uh, present or anticipated uh, charges. Um, we did stress the importance of governance, which was shared, the importance of um, inclusiveness and unity, which was also agreed upon, and the focus on the economy. So I want to make it very clear, there was not, this was not raised at all in either private meetings or in the formal meetings. How is that any sort of end there with the coalition divided by national then? I mean, during your uh, campaigning period, there were a lot of hate with by national, so how would you address that the right that then? Yes, but we, we have to um, proceed to form an inclusive government. You know, there was, um, we still uh, we gain uh, and, and generally accept that as the biggest block in the uh, elections and quite comfortable in terms of uh, the number of votes to be secure as compared to Prikata National. That's accepted. But we still require the support of all parties. But the key uh, and fundamental issue here is no compromise on the issue of governance and the focus on the economy. And that, once it's agreed upon, then we have to move on. As we have always said, we have to save the country. I, you have to ask PN uh, to <coughs> answer their claim. Conditions set by PN? PN. Any conditions set? No, the condition, I mean, I'm, I have said and I may I reiterate that I am extremely pleased with the um, um, pace of uh, exchanges that we had, including the formal negotiations. There was, there was virtually no condition attached except for um, issue of um, the, 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 uh, uh, unity uh, to focus on uh, the economy. Of course, it would be natural to say that they, we, they must have adequate representation in any coalition. Uh, parties must be represented, and that's all. But uh, there's no uh, unreasonable condition imposed. Are you the Prime Minister candidate? Thank you. Are you the Prime Minister candidate? And who For now, yes. Uh, for now, yes. Um, no, uh, of course, when we discuss, it is uh, predicated upon um, having Anwar as the candidate for the premiership. And they did not suggest any other name in the discussions. Um, What's my preferred choice of a deputy prime minister? Uh, let me assume the premiership first. Uh, jika uh, BNNT bergabung kan, apa jadi dengan uh, kes mahkamah membantu pemimpin Amin? Mahkamah, mahkamah. Mahkamah dia, dia tak terikat dengan apa yang dia oleh kerajaan. Kerajaan, kerajaan. Yeah. Uh, Badan harus bebas. Jadi dia tidak, jangan, jangan dikaitkan di antara proses mahkamah yang harus bebas daripada eksekutif. Uh, Yang Dr. Tuan Agung telah memberikan penangguhan uh, sehingga jam 2 petang besok. Jadi um, kita tidak tergesa-gesa. Uh, kan uh, seperti mana kita tahu, uh, ada yang telah uh, tanda tangan ni di sebelah saya sebelumnya. Uh, nampak telah dimaklum melanggar um, perjanjian dan uh, dengan uh, Barisan Nasional. Jadi mereka juga telah review kerana kesan itu parah untuk uh, ahli parlimen yang melanggar uh, perjanjian dan perakuan sumpah mereka kepada Barisan Nasional seperti mana tertera dalam kenyataan Barisan Nasional pagi tadi yang diperkenan dan bersetuju oleh semua kerana yang hadir dalam syarat kita peringkat awal formal itu termasuk 
uh, Presiden Tuk Si Zahid dan uh, Naib uh, Timbalan Tuk Mak Hassan dan Naib um, Tuk Sri Ismail Sabri walaupun dalam suat susulan beliau tidak uh, bersama kerana urusan lain saya menyebut positif perkembangan di Perak kerana itu menunjukkan BNPH mampu bergabung untuk menubuhkan kerajaan negeri. Itu permulaan yang baik. No, as a main um, partner, yes. Are you considering uh, Sabah and Sarawak as well? Of course. We do not uh, preclude anyone. Has the negotiations started? No, for now the formal negotiations is with the main component of uh, it, it, it is with the BN. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not, not clear. Not clear, sorry, what is it? <laughs> that assumption, presumption is not uh, reasonable. And, uh, and I think the, uh, even Perak and Pahang is also in the midst of these negotiations. And that spirit of negotiation. Thank you very Yang kata saya ni sekejap. Kesuaian ini.